Okay, we are back with another Chickadee's painting. We're gonna go a little bit looser than the last one, and we're gonna go even more brightly colored with it. So, let's go ahead and water down a little bit of very bright yellow. So just kind of playing with where I put everything. I'm not worrying about any of it getting too neat and tidy and perfect. In fact, quite the opposite, trying to not let it get too neat and tidy and perfect. All right, so I'm liking the color placement, but we definitely need to darken up a little bit. Make these even bolder and brighter. So that means using less water. So I'm using my blue, particularly where the black would be on my birds. Not everywhere that there would be black, but just a sort of a general guideline for myself. Leaving just a little bit of white showing here and there, and then let's go ahead and add a few little flicks just for fun all right then I'm gonna zap this with a hair dryer and actually, you know what I'm gonna do this time? I'm gonna leave the camera running for a minute as I do this, so you can sort of watch me play with. Um, so if I put it on a lower setting, it's just gonna all dry where it is. But if you wanna make it move and splatter a little bit more, you can put it on a high setting. So you can see that that will sort of help blend things a little bit, but if you want things to stay put, then you put it on a lower setting, keep it higher back, and that way it's not gonna move everything around.
So I like where the splatters have gone now, so I'm going to switch back to my lower setting. And this part gets kind of boring to watch, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the tape for you. Okay, so I like those splatters. I think I want to get a little bit darker with a couple of these. So we're going to go back in with a little bit more color here and there. And I think I'm going to add a little bit of purple into this because I'm liking that little bit of purple that came in up there. So we're going to add just a little bit more. And I'm letting this get nice and juicy so that I can let these streakies and dribbles of paint go everywhere. So I'm going to kind of get them started a little bit by pushing them out where I want them. So concentrating a little bit of extra water and paint at the edges so that I can push these out and let them really shift. Okay, now we're going to hit it with the hairdryer again. Okay, things are nice and dry now. And I actually am going to go back to the India ink for this one. I know I switched to just a regular fountain pen on the other one because I wanted things to be able to really blur and blend. But I'm doing so much blurring and blending in my background for this that I'm not going to worry about that this time around. So let's go ahead and start...
Okay, so when the video cut out, it was my phone turning off, and when I realized that, I panicked, and I went and knocked over um, the whole thing of ink <laughs> all over the painting. So now I have this. But what's crazy is I actually kind of like it. Is that weird? So we're actually going to continue with it. Um, so yeah, here we go. Okay, so we are going to go back to our inks and hopefully not spill them everywhere this time. So I originally had this huge blob of ink right there. And um, while I was going to clean it up, I went to reach for a paper towel and ever so deftly managed to completely throw my back out. So that was actually a couple days ago. And uh, I am just now able to sit upright and <laughs> all that good stuff. So, but as I say, I kind of liked what happened, so I'm going to roll with it and continue on with the painting and we're going to let it stay fuzzy. I know I wasn't going for quite as fuzzy on this one originally, which was why I'd switched back to the India ink. But like I guess I say, I like the effect. So these little splatters were not on there when I spilled the ink, but I decided that I wanted them, so I added them in. But I definitely need to figure out a different system than the cap, because I think what's happening is I catch it on the little ridge of the cap, because I've spilled a whole bunch of ink a couple times now. And rather than learning, I'm continuing to use the same system, which is maybe not the best idea. All right, so I just needed that tiny little bit more, and uh, I think I'm done. I think I like it. So let's sign it. And there we go.